thanks so much for joining me on another fun time in the bush uh, let's get going this elephant bull only had uh, one tusk and here you can see it's summer there's so much green grass around and during this time the elephants feed more on grass than they do on um, leaves and things so they they graze more but you'll notice how he uses his trunk to to twist to twist around the grass and pull it out beautiful sky. This is a, um, a false marula tree that was flowering prolifically. Gee, these two little weavers were having a ferocious fight. Didn't know little birds could get so aggressive with each other. This herd of impala, you can see the little lambs are, are doing that sort of weird jump. We call it pronking, where they rock backwards and forwards and they, um, their, their, back, um, their back legs go up higher. <laughs> and they seem to actually do it when, when they're happy. Um, or strangely, they, they do it sometimes when they've been chased by wild dogs. Um, they don't do it with any of the other predators but we have seen them do it with wild dog and also as I say just when they, when they seem to be happy and maybe they are happy here because there's an abundance of food looks like it might rain some more so life's good Full of the joys of spring, well, summer actually. These large elephant bulls were also, as you can see, eating more, more grass because it's available down in this dry river bed. Just incredible how well elephants can climb. You can you, you can see them in Mapungubwe on the tops of these sort of hills and mountains. It's incredible. now eating some leaves such 
such a beautiful sky with dramatic clouds. Giraffes always take a while to actually get down to the drinking part of things because they're very vulnerable when they drink. So they make sure there's, there's nothing around. So giraffes have an interesting network of capilla capillaries that dilate and constrict so that they don't get this huge head rush of um, blood to the brain when, they, when they're drinking or when they stand up. So that helps control the blood flow and also they have, um, they have valves in their neck which, which also help. From the big things to the small things, all equally important. These little lambs were so curious, I have no idea what they were so interested in with us, but um, yep, they were very, very curious. I promise you, we weren't doing anything strange. <laughs> you can see even the uh, even an adult. You came to see what what it, what was what was happening. What what the youngsters were so interested in. This is a foam nest frog nest, <laughs> and the tadpoles will eventually drop into the water. What a magnificent runnable. I just have to put this out there. If you're an end user of rhino horn, please find something else. It's really, really not right that they are being massacred for their horn. You can see this bull's got um, different sort of notches in his ears and that is a way of um, identifying him. With the monitoring of the rhino now, they notch them so that they know which individuals are which. This scrub here appears to have been killed by a bird of prey. These lionesses, sorry, the visual's not very good, were trying to dig out a warthog from its burrow, but they weren't successful. The Drakensberg Mountains extend from, well, they extend for about a thousand kilometers from the Eastern Cape right up into, into Limpopo province. And here they are at sunset as well. Just so beautiful. That's a 
large marula tree on the left there. This is a pair of woodlands kingfishers. Um, such a pronounced sort of call and sound of summer in, in the bush. They are just beautiful and eat insects. I just love seeing different species eating together, getting on peacefully. This is um, some virtual zebras, impala, warthogs. Just doing their own thing, minding their own business. For me it's a very peaceful, calming thing to watch. This was such a large herd of impala. They just kept coming and coming. I sort of kept the camera in the same position and the, as I say, the impala just keep coming, just keep walking through the frame. Lots of lambs, really beautiful to see. There's something special about seeing animals in numbers. And this herd was, was amazing. They were heading towards water. I hope you don't find this clip too long. Just enjoy it. Enjoy the sounds of the bush and just watching these guys walk past. Although everything is uh, looking so green and and good and lush. Um, this particular area has had underneath, uh, below its um, annual rainfall by, by quite a bit. So if it doesn't get um, late rains, it's going to be a problem in, in the beginning of um, summer. That's a ox picker on that little lamb. He clings on, they have pretty well defined claws to hold on and he eats the ticks off that little impala lamb.
Impala are so common but still so very beautiful. Couldn't resist this clip with the stunning light coming through the clouds and illuminating the tops of the trees, just so beautiful. This is a millipede or shongololo. They are completely harmless. Uh, they feed on vegetation um, and also decaying vegetation. Not harmful at all. It was raining lightly here. You can see the Impala doing quite a lot of twitching and shaking as they were getting wetter and wetter. Zebra also doing a little bit of shaking. This little baby elephant was so funny. Seemed to sort of n nose plant there, trunk plant, not sure why. And yeah, you can see he's trying to drink from mom. It's very brief though, not sure why. Elephant cows are so good at, <coughs> excuse me, so good at shielding their calves and um, keeping them out of sight. They're either between them and another elephant or behind a bush or behind them. Not always easy to get calves right out in the open. This was a young male giraffe just watching they're stripping all the leaves off the off that branch and they have papillae or like little spiky prickly bits on their um, their tongues and their lips to protect them against um, thorns and things In the shape of his head, you can see it enables him to get into the bushes. Um, it's an adaptation for their, their feeding. He had quite unusual markings on him. Every giraffe obviously has a different coat pattern. There are certain plants that once the um, kudu or giraffe have browsed quite a lot on them, they start to increase their tannin content and the leaves no longer taste as good and that's to get the, the browsers to kind of move on a bit. Nature is incredible.
If anybody can help me with the ID of this wildflower, I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> Wildflowers are around from September to, to December, sort of in this area. This is a pair of Steenbok, the female on the left. They're actually larger than the males, the male is on the right. And only the males have horns. But you'll often see Steenbok either on their own or, or in pairs like this. The sour plum lives up to its name. It's really not a very uh, <laughs> tasty fruit to eat. It's very sour. Doesn't that just make you so excited? This chap had fallen behind, his partner was a little bit of ahead of him, so he stopped there to see if he could still see him. Here's his partner, partner in crime, and he's making his way towards him. I'm not sure if these two males are brothers or not, um, but they do stick together and hold the territory together. And wait for the greeting. How awesome was that? A lion's roar can travel about seven kilometers depending on the weather and the time of the year. But that's far and lions recognize each other's calls. Another stunning African sunset. Red filters are best to use um, when you're driving on game drives at night because they don't affect the animal's eyes as much. A red filter is gentle on the eyes whereas a white no filter, the animal's eyes take a long time to readjust which makes them vulnerable out there. Look who was waiting for us when we got back to camp. <laughs> Surprise visitor.
If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and the subscribe button and switch on notifications. And if you have any questions, please pop them in the comments below. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers.